Hi, it's Terry McCormick, and we are honoring another fantastic metro area teacher. I am with Mrs. Anna Hardy. She is a first grade teacher at Saddlebrook Elementary in the OPS School District. Hello, Mrs. Hardy. Hello, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How long have you been teaching now? Uh, this is my 16th year, all in first grade. All first grade. And first grade just has to be, I mean, just the most fun. Um, I think it is. It's also super challenging, but I think it's the most fun because they grow so much. You know, they come into first grade, um, a lot of them not knowing how to read and social skills. And then by the end of first grade, they're just have taken off. So it's amazing to see what they've done by the end of first grade. That's great. So I received a wonderful letter from one of the parents um, who has a child in your class. I'm going to read a little bit of okay. that. Okay. It says, Mrs. Hardy is a top-notch educator who goes above and beyond for every child in the building. Whether she has the child in her classroom or sees them in the hallway, she shows them kindness, love, and passion for education and what it looks like. She always, uh, my daughter always feels safe, confident, and loved in her class. She's nice, sweet, beautiful, and a good teacher. She deserves this award because she cares. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. You know, as a teacher, it's kind of a daily grind every day and you don't always hear those things. So that's so nice of her. I love having Nora in my class. Um, also, it's just so sweet. Uh, and also, I know when you say challenges, I think especially the last few years, teachers have done so much. You've been on the front lines and, you know, especially when you've had to, you know, have the remote teaching and keep up with all of that. And then of course, inform the parents. It's a lot of juggling, right? Right. It feels like sometimes you have five jobs when you should have one, but um, <laughs> I'm always up for the challenge. Every day is different. So I think that's what I love about it too. But um, yeah, I've just taken the pandemic in stride, you know, just try to be here every day for the kids, whether it's a hard day, a good day. Um, so yeah, I'm, I love first grade. <laughs> So let me ask you this, what has been probably, other than I know you love first grade, one of the biggest challenges that you faced recently? Um, I think one of the biggest challenges is just, yeah, juggling everything, paperwork, um, new things in the classroom, remote, um, just a little bit of everything every day. So I think that's definitely a challenge. Okay, what about, um, we'll flip that over, what's one of the bright spots, something you can remember recently that was just awesome? <laughs> um, gosh, every day is so different, but some days it's just those little things when they, you know, they can read a sentence or they can read a story or, you know, they come up and say, this was the best day ever, you know, um, when we have those special days, like we did a, uh, we just do different activities throughout first grade um like teddy bear picnic and things like that and they just love those things so wow. when they say it's the best day ever <laughs> yeah i i bet you probably especially in the area of reading see the most growth over a year would you say just with the yes. and books and reading and things like that right right and first grade a lot of kids come in knowing how to read and some come in not knowing how to read so i think that's a, a challenge too, where there's some kids that don't know any letters or sound, and then there's kids reading chapter books. So it's juggling that too. Sure, well, teachers are our heroes and you are master jugglers, that's for sure. So I have a couple of just questions to get to know you more. First of all, are you a dog or a cat person? Um, I have two dogs. I have a golden doodle, a mini golden doodle, and a Bernadoodle, so definitely a dog person. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so what would you say is your favorite show to binge watch when you have time just for you? Do you have a show that's a favorite? Um, well, I love mysteries, so I would have to say probably Dateline or 48 Hours. I know <laughs> those are kind of, <laughs> uh, I don't know if those are considered binge worthy, but they're very newsworthy. I don't know what it is, but that's the kind of show that I, I tend to watch when I have some time on my own or a good movie. Sure. And then um, what is it that is your favorite dessert? If you could splurge, what would you order? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I do love dessert. Probably anything chocolate or I do like tiramisu. So yeah. tiramisu is one of my favorites, so. All right, and finally, my last question for you, Mrs. Hardy, is what do you love the most about teaching? 
Oh gosh, there's so many little things that I love. Um, I love that every day is different. I know I've said that before, but I also love when students come back to see me like in second, third grade, or even high school. Um, those kids that have graduated and get in contact with me and are like telling me how they've done and what they're doing. Um, I think that's a, a favorite part of teaching. Sure, because you're part of their life story and yes. that, that they come back, that's awesome. Right, right. Fantastic. Well, Mrs. Hardy, again, we want to congratulate you for being our Teacher of the Week. Thank you for all you Thank do. You. And we have a couple of gifts for you. First of all, I hope you love pizza because Zio's yeah. Pizza <laughs> is giving uh, you a gift card so you can go out and enjoy okay. some pizza. And also from Regal Awards is our Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week Award for you. Oh, wow, and, thank you. Yay, and it shows you what a star you are, Mrs. Hardy. <laughs> so thanks again, Mrs. Anna Hardy, first grade teacher, Saddlebrook Elementary. Thanks for all you do for the kids. Oh, thanks, Terry. That was such a nice nomination. I can't believe it, so thank you.